Hey, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. We got some more leftover content. We got some um, King matches. I, I'm, I'm just going to try to update everything for OPO 7. See how much fun that is. Here we go. Now, Vivi. I have like three. Three Vivi decks. Um, one. Oh, man. One. Everything would have been so much better in a different format. It's hilarious, right? It's like, oh, three sets ago, two sets ago. This would have been... But anyway. Yeah, there was a Vivi deck I had came up with that was actually solid. But it was just a... It was just difficult. So by the time I realized it, yeah, the meta changed. It was one of those things. But I feel like um, it never hurts to just try it out. So with OPO7, I think, you know, Sakazuki's gone and... There's more um, other competitive meta decks, which dilutes the amount of, you know, certain decks out there. Except for Law. I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna go into a Law era. Now that I think about it, I just completely forgot. Whatever. I completely forgot about that deck. I don't, I don't know why. Anyway. Um, I was gonna say, you know, it might give rise to a lot of um, Dark Horse decks. So, we get some Swarm potential. We, we develop two characters on this board. We got Onigashima to really help us ramp. And the fun part is, if we need to start drawing some cards and get into wherever we, wherever we got to need, wherever we got to need. What is happening right now? Um, we have Sasaki and we have a Shiki. So, two characters, draw two, check one, essentially. And, wow, interesting. We got so much life that we can technically go for the ulti play again. So, we're going to choose to cycle instead. And we get rid of Sasaki. Just, just gonna keep chipping away at the Vivi. S surprisingly, with all that hand, Vivi's just taking life. I think what I want to assume part of Vivi's kit is the goal is to um, be defensive with her. But this player must feel real comfortable going down to to life. Okay, so we just use a radical beam for that i ain't gonna lie i don't understand why the vivi player is playing like this maybe it's just something i don't know we'll probably see we'll probably see a lot of chaos in a second oh okay look at that gravity tiger hadouken just took off two both the page ones still have a decent board in comparison we are at our Tendon state. We have an Onigashima in hand. So, yep, we got the the bread and butter of purple, which is uh, play that queen. That's kind of funny. With Shiraya, you're still going to lose a thousand. So we're just going to, it's all chip, chip, chip away. We're just chipping, chipping. So yeah, we're gonna update the king deck. Um, probably try out a Kuro. I said Kuro. Ugh, oh, man, because we, we we was uh, working on a Kuro deck earlier. Um, what well, what did I say? King Vivi. Just whatever. Just go for a lot of updated. Uh, update to uh, start updating a lot of our builds. This Vivi needs to mount some sort of offense. There we go. Don Nami. That's, that's just a wonderful card. I think it's very underrated. Okay, so you get to, I was going to say, swing into ulti and then KO the queen, but they decided to go to life. Everybody's down a thousand, but instead of attacking board, it seems like we're just going to keep putting pressure on Vivi. Oh, they just let Shariah go. Okay. You see, that's the interesting thing about One Piece. Sometimes it's just better to overwhelm your opponent with a bunch of attacks. Like you don't, you like you really don't have to. Um... Oh no. Okay, I was gonna say develop heat first. Well, you might as well check it. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, where, where was I? 
I can't remember. I lost my thought. Anyway, there's been, oh yeah, just a bunch of multiple attacks and that's just like a real convenient way to win. No Dawn, just develop board, swing with everything. But that's because it's kind of, the Vivi's not really mounting much offense. So it, we was just allowed to just do that, just constantly swing. Okay. And they really should be going for our board because we're just going to have a game next turn. I guess they're trying to think about it, but our board is just nothing but 5Ks at the moment. Yeah, you take out Queen. Either we let it go or we block with Kid, right? So, yeah, to me, I felt like those were easy plays. Now the benefit is... Um, yeah, there you go. You minus Queen's po uh, kid's power, and you attack it to the other ulti. I'll just let that go, too. Oh, we chose not to. Oh, we, we had a 2K. Okay, I understand. I feel like this is probably game. I can't see them being able to protect that last life like that. Three cards, one life. Okay, they protected. They took. And that's it. GG. But yeah, I, I I wanna I wanna see if I can make Vivi playable for the next meta. Is that a lovely hand? Is that or is it not? We get three Onigashimas. Oh, and two kings. See, we want to see Onigashima so bad they gave us three copies in our starting hand. Well, the fun part is we just need to draw into one queen. And if we're real crazy about it, we can just activate Onigashima, then play another one to activate it. I'll take this. We need something else in our hand. Unless we're afraid of some sort of pudding play. Decisions, decisions. Is that what it is? Technically, they got law and pudding. It is a blue-purple combination. They can go either or. I wonder if that would be technically like a good strategy. Alrighty, what are we doing? We take, use that trigger ramp. Oh, delicious. So we're at five dawn. So we'll be at seven next turn. It's kind of, it kind of really worked itself out right now. Let's see, do you want to just swing into Chihuahua and see if we can bait a card out their hand? Or we just attack life and get some more pressure on the board. Alright, so we just decided to just get the Koala out of hand. I mean, not out of hand. We just get the, I said Koala, ugh, Chihuahua off the board and then go for life. Oh! They're giving us our king back. Okay, it is what it is. See, the interesting part about that is like, yeah, you slowed our board down. That is a fact. But um, you're kind of stopping yourself from being able to... And you gave us a target. Huh. You gave us a target for, for king. Yeah. I don't know why they chose to do that. Okay, we get into a swarm of the board. They got three attacks right now. Attacking for six, that's an easy 2k. Six, six, all these, that number makes me uncomfortable. Goodness, couldn't swing for seven. Okay, so now their whole board is minus. We probably should, yeah, let's go for some pressure. Let's, uh, oh, we're going for the 10 drop. Ugh, devastation. So now we have to lose two more Don. 
<laughs> Thank God for the Onigashima. Then we have to take. Oh, rush play. Ugh. This is looking dangerous. Oh, what a top deck. Oh, amazing sequence of top decks. This is real dangerous. Yeah, we have to swing raw. And we got lucky. Lucky, I say. Okay, we developed kid. Now we gotta hope they don't have a rush. We gotta hope they don't have a rush. And we gotta hope they want to develop board. So they're swinging for eight. And sadly, we don't have a 2k. So we can't keep kid on the board. And they developed their own blocker. Okay, so we probably, what should we do? I'm not too sure yet. It's like we have the king play, then we can attack with our leader, and then we can, uh, go, we can actually go for game. Okay, so, uh, okay, if they block, we can develop our blocker. And do we have enough Dawn up? Yes, we do. And we give it a, oh, and we got another queen. This is insane. This is, is all working itself out now. Oh man, we got a Thunder Bagua. What a top deck. And we got another queen. Okay. They, they're fixing the go for game. But, oh, it's just, it's, this is an anime right now. Only able to attack for eight. Well, he'll hold this 9K for defense. And they quit. Understandably so. GG.